he good? <laughs> it is almost Christmas time. And since it is almost Christmas time, we gotta play some Christmas horror games, you know, because because I. Christmas time. Then we're gonna be doing three random Christmas horror games. But before we continue, yo, we are closing in on 900 subscribers. Subscribe now. What's up, everybody? It's Boy Gaming Show back with a new video. Today we are gonna be playing. Well, not playing, but it is called Madvent. Advent Calendar. This is an engine that has a bunch of Christmas horror games. Anyways, enough of my broke ass. Let's go ahead and go to which number do we want to do? Yo, there's up to 30 games. We're going to choose four. I like the number four. What's over here? Nailhead. What the fuck? Oh my god! Open it. What, what is this name? I woke up in a noble god. Why, why did you do that? Why did you do that? I did that! What? I need to destroy the box. I need to remove it before I can destroy it. Locked gas cage. Bro, what? We gotta we gotta find something to destroy this box. It's covered in net it's covered in nails. Seems like there's a small dead animal inside. Bloody trash bag? Open fridge. What we got in the fridge? It stinks. Bro, what the Locked bedroom. The door is jammed, it can't be open. Okay. It's full of snow. Locked bathroom. We can't go in there. Uh, so everything is kind of useless right now. Pick up hammer. Okay. Okay. Let's examine this box. Friend Jack. He's our friend. He attacked all of us. I had to stop him. Who's all of us? Like, where are the other people at, dog? Mallet. The mallet he attacked me with. Okay. Oh, nails. Ah, okay. okay open it. I can't grab it. It's too hot. Water heater. Oh, it, is he good? Flush. Pick up small. Ah. Friend Rebecca, her flesh is burned off. So like, I don't, I don't think Jack is the killer. I, I think this guy, I think we're the killer, bro. Locked bedroom. Oh, oh, give me that axe. Eric, his head was split open while he was sleeping. Oh. Well, shit. Okay, I actually didn't think that was gonna work. Another key. Pick up gloves. Okay. Thank you, thank you. I think we have everything. We have a key, which is definitely gonna open that now. Let me go ahead and open this. Then let me... Close it. Open it. Pick up gas can, whatever that said. Pick up a lighter. Chimney. I need to put the box inside. Okay. Oh. Got a box head. Use gas can. Use lighter. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh! Okay.
Next game. Christmas adventure? Help Jennifer save someone's crit. Yeah. No. All right, let's go ahead and play number one. Let's just see what number one's about. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. You want me to hurry the fuck up? Okay. Shit. <laughs> Alright, the graphics are... Uh, not good. I don't know what the fuck happened to you. What the fuck can we crouch? <gasps> hey, 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 hey! Bro, you good? Are you good? Bro, what? What is supposed to be happening, bro? What am I supposed to be doing? Do I have to figure something out? Like... Like, you want me to break his ankles or something? You want me to juke this motherfucker? Goodness sake. If there's bullying. For goodness sake. I like how it's just a game with a bunch of games and it opens an engine of the game. The night is finally here. Everyone else is asleep. But there's no chance of you actually sleeping tonight. And a final attempt to guarantee a spot on the nice list. You decide to try to do some extra chores before midnight. Damn, these graphics are gonna make me fucking kill myself. My PC is like not handling this at all. Turn it off electric candle. You have to turn these off. Why are we turning, well, we're, First of all, why electric candles? Ugh. We got one right here. There's two more. Yep. Turned off electric candle. And now, turn off electric candle. The Balforce hoverboard is something you put on your Xmas list every year. But they're expensive and always so hard to find. So you're not holding your breath. For the longest time, the only kid in school that ever managed to get one was Barb. And she let everyone know it was hers. She guarded it frequently. That is not say frequent. So when your best friend mentioned that they saw Alex running around with the hoverboard, with Barb. I thought it was strange. Your best friend later ran into Barb, but didn't say anything about it. They confused. They confessed to you that they didn't think it was any of their business. Your best friend went missing last year, and for 12 months now, you haven't thought about anything else. If this was the incident that put them on the naughty list, what about what about it was so wrong? Maybe your best friend should have told Barb because... What? We have to choose? Maybe your best friend should have told Barb because it's always important to be truthful to others. Barb would have been happier knowing and it is better to be truthful. You think this every time you see your best friend, your best friend's house through the window. Yo, 
where the music at? What? What is? What is that? Do laundry, do the dishes, put away video games, take the trash. Well, we gotta do the laundry now, guys. Maybe you shouldn't have turned the electric candles off last, because you know the light would have probably been better. You wish Hannah and Greg had made up. Hannah always gave Greg a lot of grief about egging that one neighbor's car. Even after Greg com- Confided- Confided in- <sighs> Bro, I hope all of y'all fall down the stairs. You both about how guilty he felt and how it was affecting his sleep. But it all fell apart when Isaac got blamed for it and grounded. Hannah told Greg he needs to make it right. Bro, I don't care about your life story. Do the fucking dishes. When she went missing, Greg began losing more than just sleep. But why was Hannah taken by Krampus? Why was Hannah shouldn't have waited for Isaac to get grounded? She should have acted immediately. Hannah threatened to betray a friend. I don't think the first one makes sense. She threatened to betray a friend. That's probably it. Greg came to both of you in fear, and she took advantage of it. Damn, I didn't even see you do anything! Do the laundry. The laundry's in here. What, are we gonna get another damn story, huh? Yeah, okay. Give me another story, come on, what's the other story? Looking at the socks, you suddenly think about something that happened at school years ago. How old are we? We're like short. <laughs> Brie Anna was a popular kid in class with Nancy and Mark. Always tagging along. Reaping the benefits? Reaping? What? But one day, Brianna turned everyone in class against Nancy, even Mark turned against her. Eventually, it got bad enough that Brianna even started stealing Nancy's stuff. One time, it was... Are you serious? My f fucking camera. One time, it was her socks and shoes after gym class. Humiliated, Nancy had to walk back to class. Barefoot. Damn. Later, she was pursued by the teacher, or persuaded by the teacher, who demanded to know where her shoes went. Nancy didn't want to be bra branded and a snitch. Possibly making things worse, so she lied. Nancy ended up going missing around Christmas. If Krampus took her, then she must have done something wrong, right? It must have been Nancy lying to her teacher. Why was it wrong? <laughs> lying showed disrespect to her teacher. Hey, that's kind of... That's... I guess, yeah. Nancy didn't want to be... Branded a snitch, so she lied to persuade her pride. I think the second one makes more sense. Why Krampus, like, mocked her or some shit? You can't fix. You can't fix what you don't know is broken. Yo, this is. I don't feel like I'm playing a horror game. I feel like I'm playing a fucking. Like these are like lessons, guys. Put away video games. Where the video games at? Let me see. They're probably over here. Hey, calm down, buddy boy. Is this my room? Yes, it is. Put away this goddamn video games, boy. Oh my god. Oscar loved meth, but he also felt a need to somehow justify it by getting into trouble. Nothing serious, but Oscar still got grounded by his strict parents quite a bit. There was that one time you noticed uh, noticed Patty got mad at Oscar for not helping her with her homework as promised. He was grounded at the time, no friends, no phone. Patty ultimately flunked that class. Flunked? And Oscar vanished in early December that year. Why was Oscar punished for obeying his parents? <laughs> I 
helping Patty would have resulted in less overall suffering than sneaking out because Patty would not have flunked. What does flunked mean? What? Keeping the agreement would have placed greater value on honor, loyalty, and friendship. None of both of these are stupid. The greater good sometimes requires breaking the rules. See my list. We have one last thing. Take the trash to the garbage. Yo. Hey! Who is that? Santa? Santa, is that you? Guys, it's Santa Claus. That that's Santa Claus, right? It's not it's not Krampus. Cause we've been we've been a good boy. Where's the damn trash can? This is it, right? Yeah. Got trash. One out of three? Bro, what? Wait, what's this room? <laughs> yes, sir. Got more trash, two out of three. Oh, that's a pretty nice bathroom. Forgot what room this was. No, we found it. Got all the trash. Time to head to the garbage. I'm about. Oh shit! I'm not about to get jump scared, am I? I better not. Guys, I'm feeling a jump scare. This is not good. Like, not good at all. Go and put the trash away. An empty candy wrapper reminds you of school fundraiser you did once of Christy. All the kids were going to get a small percentage of the total to boost motivation. So everyone went extra on it. But the extra you earned never showed up. It seemed to be forgotten about. You later heard Chris Christy was trusted by the teacher to distribute the extra earnings to your group. And you really only heard about that when Dana told you they suspected Christy. Dana even called Christy out of one of the parents. Christy became shunned. Shunned? What? But the money was still never found. Later that year around that this time, Dana went missing. You're guessing this was probably the situation that did. Maybe Dana should have talked to Christy first because... It would have given Christy an opportunity to explain her side of the story. That's true. It might have given Christy a chance to help fix the situation and be safe from punishment. <laughs> These are both really good. I feel like number two, kind of, you know. Better to check first before tossing the stones. Sounds like something's at the front door. Yeah, it, it does, but I would go to bed. I would rather go to bed than go to the front door. Oh no. Oh shit. What's that? Huh? Hey, 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 what's happening? Clean the basement? Dog, are you serious? Why are all the lights, why are the lights just turned off? Hey, 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 oh, oh no. Give me the flashlight. What is it pointing at? Oh. It's not so bad. We got a present. Let's go. This is amazing. Oh! Yo, what? Ain't no way. We just got... Got fuck
Hey there, are you having a good day? Well, fuck you.